greatness has to start somewhere. <laughs> My guest here today, sir, introduce yourself. My name is George Turan. Now, you are the... I'm not going to say the Godfather, but you're the one that got the Hop, Hop Town Wrestling Program on the map. Tell us your, um, tell us what your, your state championship story. Well, I started in 1971. Uh, I was playing football. Back then, blacks didn't do a whole lot of wrestling. We we mostly play football and, and wrestling was something we did right. in order to try to keep ourselves together for the next season. Okay. Uh, as far as football, it was a free that had to come before me, but when I got started, uh, and, and that year was my very first year of, of wrestling. I didn't know anything about wrestling whatsoever. Uh, I had a head coach named Coach Walter Hawkins. Okay. Uh, he was a football coach also. He come from Kaufman High, a junior high school where I was going before I went to Hopkinsville. Okay. Now, I have to ask, how how do you discover wrestling? Like, do you just walk into a gym? You're, you know, I'm sure what you were probably offensive or defensive lineman, right? Yes, sir. And somebody came up to you and said, hey, you're a pretty good-sized fellow. We'd like to have you on the wrestling team, or how does it work? I'm going to tell you how this got started. All right, good. I want to hear it. Coach Walter Hawkins uh -huh. come to me one day while I was walking down the hall, hallway in high school, and he told me, he said, I heard you like beating up people, or you like picking, be, beating up people and picking them up, slamming them and all that. He said, and I got to wait that you can do this legally if you interested in it. He said, I don't have a heavyweight. I would like for you to come out in, in trial for the team or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Wow. So out of nowhere, I decided to go and it, it didn't have nothing, no, 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 no knowledge at all. All I was was a, a football player and I was used to tackling and picking up and slamming and all hey. that. What? So when, when when I first went over there or whatnot, I had some other guys, a guy named Bill Clarkson, uh, which was a state champion be before me, before the schools kind of integrated good. Right. Uh, and then another guy uh, named uh, 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 Kent Parent. Okay. Can't play football with me. So when, when as we going through that process or whatnot, he had already been wrestling four or five years, so he kind of took me up on his wing a little bit, telling me and showing me, kind of showing me how. Plus, Coach Hawkins mm -hmm. also uh, was involved. I was a heavyweight back then. They we was what they called the unlimited class. Unlimited, yeah. You could weigh as as much as you wanted to. Well, let me ask you this: About how much did you weigh when you wrestled heavyweight? Hey, because now the cut off two eighty five. Okay, when when I wrestled, when I first started wrestling heavyweight, I was probably around three ten. Oh my! Back it was in it was in it was in seventy one. Uh, -huh. uh, and then come around when 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 seventy two when I as as, as, as I continues to to get into the program or whatnot. But then when I wrestled in the state finals for in 72, I was around 295 or 300 or whatnot. That's so, so 50 year anniversary of your state championship? Yes, sir. You got, you said fifth place in 71, Yes, sir. correct? All right, uh -huh. let's go through your bracket here real quick. Okay. The first round, you wrestled Bob Fay from Boone County. It says you win a nine to two decision. Yes, sir. Then you wrestle Drew, I'm sorry, Steve Packer from Louisville Seneca. Yes, sir. You win that by a six to one decision. Yes, sir. And it looks like from there you wrestle. Uh, Flash A was the school. Okay. Flash A, and you wrestle Mike 
Bargatze. Yes, sir. You win a. I win in overtime. Say, with overtime. Him. Yes, sir. Kind of tell us that overtime story because that sounds like that could be a uh, interesting. Well, at that point, I had I went through the whole rest of the season, and I was undefeated. I went on into the state champion. I mean, into to the state, right. still undefeated. So, and I was I went in as the number one wrestler. Okay. Uh, yeah, in the, it's in the it's got you in the top, yes, sir, top in, the, spot. in the heavyweight class. But he was from Flashy, and he had been wrestling several years. Mm -hmm. My experience was just in two years or whatnot. And, 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 and I had to wrestle him to catch up to go into overtime because he was leading me before okay. I went into overtime. All right. Now, it, it says... A four to two decision, but it's got OT beside of it. Did you get a takedown? Did you remember? Or okay, in the, in, the, in, the, in the overtime, I did get a I get a I get a takedown on him or whatnot, uh, and then I put him on his back and got two points on on, on that. Okay. So they don't uh, but 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 I don't know how they do it now or back a few years back. Uh -huh. You know, we, we didn't wrestle to do the first point. Okay. And, and go. That we makes went, sense. We went all the way through that whole 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 match, mm -hmm. uh, the whole t t time as far as the overtime. Right. And that's why the score was four to two. Okay, I got okay. you. That, that makes perfect sense. All right. Now you get to the finals. You're wrestling Dale Young from yeah. Paducah Tillman. All now, right. Paducah is your end of the state. Had, yes, sir. Had you guys wrestled before? I wrestled Dale probably about five times. Okay. And how'd that go? I won all of oh, them. Well, hey, undefeated against Paducah Tillman. Yes, That's sir. Where you I, I was be, undefeated right? against everybody. Uh, six to five. Yes. Um, do you remember like how you scored or? Uh, Dale, 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 and I played football. We both played. We played football against each other. We wrestled against each other. Right. We also went to track. We had track. We was again throwing shot, putting this right. and all that. So this was a competition that we had been. Throughout the year, just going, 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 going. I wrestled him through the WK, uh, the Bluegrass, uh, regional. I, all, all those times, mm -hmm. I, 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 I continued. I had beat him or whatnot. Okay. When I got into to the state finals, we went as I, I beat him 65, but it was a, a heck of a match because. If I get a takedown on him, he would maybe get an escape. Mm -hmm. If I if I get him and, and and had him on his back or whatnot, he get up, you know. Yeah. So so Dale, because he was a big strong guy, he went to Western Kentucky. Oh, did he? Uh, as far as when he graduated. Mm. So he and was all all stater and everything else. Right. So it was a big big thing for us to oh, yeah. to wrestle against him, and but but. I knew I was the best. To be hey, that's all it takes. From the ain't beginning, it? you know, and it worked because I had already beat him four or five times before I got to the to the state final. Now, have you maintained contact with him after the fact? Uh, or? I talked to Dale probably about five years ago. He's out. He's in Texas. Okay. Or whatnot, and, and, and I talked to him on the phone, and mm -hmm. I got him also on Facebook or whatnot. Mm -hmm. We kind of correspond. Now and then during during the election and things, he was uh, uh I I'm a Democrat and he was he's a Republican. Yeah. So we, we, we would yeah. always no. do yeah. do what we do on that, you yeah, know. No, I, I understand. Yes, sir. Uh, now try as I might, I've called libraries, I've called archives, I've called the KHSAA, I called every person I could. I could not find a video of yours. But I do All have right. a video of nineteen sixty nine. Yes, sir. And the thing about nineteen sixty nine wrestling it was completely different than what we have today. All right. So we're going to watch the 1969 heavyweight finals. All right. And I want you to kind of narrate for us, like, well, I don't want to give it away, but there's so many changes I want to ask you about then as opposed to now. All right. So we're going to kind of stop the, we're going to do a cut. We're going to turn around, watch the TV, and watch this 1969 final. All right. All right. You guys are seeing what we're seeing. This is Atherton, I'm sorry, this is Trinity's gym. In Louisville. Now, did you wrestle in Trinity's gym? Do you remember what gym you was in in 72? 
to? Tony. Seneca. 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 I'm not going to doubt Tony. He yeah. said Seneca. That's yeah. where we're. That's where 72 yeah. was wrestled at. Yeah. But uh, this is Trinity's gym. Now we're going to watch this off camera. You was telling me your record. What was your record in 1972? I won 44 and zero. 44 and zero. So, yes. I mean, it's too bad we never got a uh, George versus Livingston uh, super super bout, right? <laughs> I'd right. like to see that. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to watch this. Okay. Now, first thing I notice is the full length tight, the full length singles. Did you guys have that in 72? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. We sure did. Yeah, we had uh, the full length and the headgear and. Mm -hmm. Now, that's one thing also too I've noticed is it looks like headgear is optional. So some, this is of course the heavyweight. Um, the, uh, some of the other matches, you have one wrestler wearing it, one of the wrestlers not wearing it. Right. So we're all, when we're neutral here, we're on the mat or whatever, what was your uh, go-to takedown? Just whatever worked? Was you single leg, double leg? I used uh, double leg mostly. Double leg? Yes. And then I would get them as I get them down or whatnot. If, when I break them down, then mm -hmm. I go through the cross face. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, or whatnot. And then, then uh, after the cross face or whatnot, if we, we got in the position where I could ride them, then I ride them or whatnot. Right. And then, but most the majority of the time, I, if I ever got them up, now I these pick them up and slam them. these guys look to be pretty lean. Yes. Uh, was you just like a massive upper body or? No, I was a big man all over. I, I, well, oh, yeah. But it, shh, we're not even gonna go there. We're not yeah, even gonna. I'll, I'll take your word on that one. Uh, yeah. So when when you're let's say you're on top, you're like these guys were walking, we're watching. What was your uh, go to like breakdown? Your go-to turn, just a half, half in the ribs. Half. Try to get the chicken wing on right. them, or whatnot. And then we would, we would go, uh, 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 and try to shoot that Nelson and then pin right. him. Now something too that I'll bring up this second, but while it's on my head, when you guys started in neutral, you were on the ten-foot line, like yes. the the ten-foot circle. Mm -hmm. um, you know, today that's completely completely different okay. and everybody that I've showed a match to I can't believe you know that you you guys started um, that way I know that has to be like nowadays you'd have to train wrestlers completely different like what what was your coach telling you like you're that far apart are you trying to like close distance what are we trying to do that far away yeah I always I always I, I would always close the distance because mm -hmm. I was my my thing was to get my hands on them, and then when we and then go from there as far as trying to get a takedown or or anything. I don't I didn't do a whole lot of uh, 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 as far as trying to stay off the mat or whatnot. I was right. aggressive. I like to go to them and and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and and like I say a lot of times if I, I could get get my hands on and pick them up slam them or whatever it took for me to do to get them down on that mat now, where I can start doing what I got to do. I've got to ask, did you ever get called for an illegal slam? Was that even the penalty back then? Yes, you could have. I mean, it was a penalty. Huh. But no, I didn't necessarily get uh, charged with any illegal right. slams or whatnot. All right. But I would. I mean, that was my thing was to, if, if, when I, if I went in and shot a... A take, I mean, a two-legged, the double-legged takedown or whatnot, but then I worked from there. Mm -hmm. But if we was up and we was both head-to-head -head or whatnot, but then as far as sometimes when I even shoot the, 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 the double leg, when I pick, I will pick them up mm. and, 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 and put them down. And let them have I, it, huh? Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Well... I think that's a good spot 10. I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop on this for us. All right. Now, of course you said you were the first African-American state champion for Hoptown. Yes, sir. You paved the way for, you know, Miguel, Livingston, Willie, Jared, Jeff, all these guys, all these names that we've heard from the past. I'm sure a bunch that I'm leaving out. Um, thank you to your contributions to the sport. Thank you to your, I'm sure Hoptown has honored you, I'm sure several different ways. 
Um, you guys saw this in the back, but this is the 1992 Hoptown State right. Championship Trophy. I'm sure you, Hoptown has three championship trophies. I'm sure yeah. you have to feel some sense of pride anytime Hoptown, Christian County, as a state champion, knowing that you know you were one of the forefathers. You were, like I said, like kind of like the godfather, getting the programs going, yes, getting sir. kids interested. I, I as, as as that after I graduated and and, and, and did and had had wrestled or whatnot, but then two years later, back in the eighties or whatnot, I I I moved out of town. Mm -hmm. And I lived out of town, and it was the 90s before I come back. Right. I'd heard about some of these other guys that had wrestled with state champion, and it was always I always kept up with Tony because Tony and I was was teammates. Yeah. So, uh, and, and and I would always keep up with him, and he would keep keep me in 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 in. in, in Memory, so everything that was pretty much going on and who was the state champions and all that, I didn't get to see a whole lot of. I saw Peekaboo wrestle a lot. I didn't get to see uh, uh, Livingston uh, and some of the other ones wrestle as as, as it went on. But I knew they, they they were state champions. Right. You know, Tony kept me in in remembrance of, of all that. Mm -hmm. And then, I, and then as, as years went on, I, I kind of go around now and, and, and watch a little bit. But as I got older, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I didn't necessarily get away from wrestling, but I didn't go to a whole lot of the matches right. or well, anything. Well, now with this series with YouTube and everything, you can check, you know, check out all the state champions here today, all the other ones we've got on the channel so far. We've got uh, Damian and Livingston's. Uh, 97, 96, we're going to do his, I think, 95, either today or tomorrow. Okay. I say thank you for coming, sir. All right, sir. I really appreciate right. it. Thank I, you very much. I thank you um, for the invite. No problem. I'm glad yes, sir. You, we had at least something for you to kind of... Yes, sir. That far back in time, like I said, 50 years 50 ago. 50 years. 50 years. 50 I wasn't years. even born yet. I, I wasn't even on the planet. All so right. thank you for being a trailblazer. Yes, thank you for your yes, contributions sir. to the KHSAA yes, and the wrestling. And I can't wait for everybody else to watch this video. That's all we've got today with uh, Mr. Torim. All right. A Hoptown State Champion, 1972 heavyweight. Yes. We have a bunch more of these Hoptown and Christian County videos filming here today and tomorrow. Just follow the playlist down. You're not going to be disappointed. We'll see you guys there.